Dear ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is with great honor to host the representatives of the Federation of Olympia, a nonprofit organization that aims to promote truth and Olympic values. We invite to deliver a lecture Mr. Konstantinos Kodoyanis, Head of Projects, Events and Program Sector. Imagine a world of equality. Imagine a world without violence. Imagine a world in peace. This is our dream. This is our goal. Thank you for inviting us here and allowing us to present to you our vision and our actions. We prepared an explanatory video for you so as to provide information about who we are, what we do, and what is our purpose. Enjoy. Federation of Olympia, nonprofit civil company, aims to promote and spread the Olympic ideal as it was shaped at the ancient Olympic Games. In this context, the organization takes initiatives to promote truce as a prerequisite for participation in the ancient Olympic Games, with our main project being the connection of ancient Elida and ancient Olympia through a route, named, Ecotouristic Route Elida Olympia, the Route of Truce. Ancient Elida was the host of the ancient Olympic Games, and ancient Olympia was the holy place the Games took place. According to Pausanias descriptions, Greece was suffering great damage from civil war and infectious diseases in those years. Because of that, the king of Ilida, Iphitos, visited the Oracle of Delphi to be consulted on how they could get rid of the calamities. It is said that Pythia then ordered Iphitos and the people of Elis to restore the Olympic Games. This tradition is followed by another, according to which the king of Ilida, Iphitos, together with the legislator of Sparta Lycurgos and the king of Pisa Cleosthenes, agreed to declare Elis the sanctuary of Zeus and established the truce. According to the first decision, the one that deemed Elis as the sanctuary of Zeus, someone was considered cursed at any time if he crossed the border of Elis armed and did not deposit as required his weapons at the country's borders and have them returned back to him when he left. According to the second decision, the one of truce, all hostilities, and wars between the Greek cities had to stop while the Olympic Games lasted. It is not known exactly when the truce and the sanctity of Elis were established. However, their historicity is confirmed by Aristotle, who knew of the bronze disc of Iphitos on which the agreement was engraved and was kept in ancient Olympia in the Temple of Hera. The route of truth starting from ancient Elis, host city of the ancient Olympic Games, crosses three municipalities, Ilida, Pergos, and ancient Olympia, and passes through 13 semi-hilly villages. Daphne, Keramidia, Daphne Otisa, Peristeri, Chimadio, Sopi, Καράτουλα, Μαγούλα, Λατζόλη, Ηράκλια, Κουρνάρι, Πελόπιο, Λάτανος. And finishes in ancient Olympia, the holy place where the games were held. Mainly with the support from the program leader, we have completed path works to make it easier for visitors and runners to access the route. In total, 550 pieces, 40 by 30 centimeters sized signs were placed to offer directions from Elis to Olympia and from Olympia to Elis. 37 pieces, 120 by 75 centimeters sized informational signs in the villages. Additionally, 10 pieces 130 by 90 centimeters sized, promotional signs at the big ports and the highways of the area. We also created 9 stone-built seating areas of special interest.
Supportively, we also made English informational flyers of the route. Eight page informational flyers in French, Swedish, English, and Greek. Eight page kid story with Karivos, the first recorded ancient Olympic winner. Application for mobile devices with information for the walker that can be found in either Google Play or the App Store. Our goal is to create a network of paths linking the main route with various places of interest, touristic, ecological, cultural etc. to consolidate the idea of truce and to name parts of the route according to sports and Olympic values. In each section, the stops on the route will bear the names of figures who excelled in each category accompanied by their actions through which the Olympic values emerged. In this context, we created the alternative route, Agrippadohori, Ilida. This route starts from Agrippadohori, the area where the people entering the kingdom of Ilida used to leave their weapons, and continues through the villages of Lotus, Ephra, Uria, and joins the main route at Karamidia. Also passing through Daphne and finishing at Ilida. In 2020, for the first time, members of the Supreme Sports Council of Hellenic Armed Forces ran this route, which is named the Route of Hercules since his name is also mentioned in one of the two versions of the Disc of Yithatos, which was also a source of inspiration for the medal given to the participants. Route of Truths in the context of the promotion of the truce, as a prerequisite for the participation in the ancient Olympic Games, a non-racing and free for all the participants rung, is organized every spring. The winner is anyone who completes the 50 kilometers of the route, and is awarded with a unique numbered medal and a wild olive wreath. Truce is not just a temporary pause of war actions that certain individuals use as an excuse to be re-equipped, but is an opportunity for communication and understanding, a chance and a breath of life for the prevalence of peace. For the first route of truce in 2016, long-distance runner and world-famous athlete Yanis Kouros was chosen to lead the course. He was honored for his contribution to sports from the president of SISM. During the route of truce, the participants are warmly welcomed in all the villages of the route by the locals offering local traditional treats to them. Every four years, the route bears the title Olympic. In this context, additional events are held to better promote the values advocated by the truce. The Olympic years the medal is designed by an artistic figure. the opening ceremony. The day before the main event, a celebratory meeting dedicated to the truce is organized in Ilida with children theatrical acts, art exhibitions from local painters, and ends with a concert. After all, in ancient times, the Olympic Games were not only athletic competitions but also featured music and poetry contests. The laying down of arms. During the ancient games, 
The participants laid their weapons down and entered Ilida unarmed, where they all stayed together for a month before walking the route to Olympia and taking part in the games. On April 19, 2016, for the first time, 1,623 years after the end of the ancient Olympic Games, this act was symbolically honored. Athletes members of the Supreme Sports Council of Hellenic Armed Forces left their weapons in the yard of the new Museum of Ilida, and the following day walked the first route of Olympic truce on the route of truce. In 2020 the weapons were deposited in Agrippita Hori where in a special ritual, ancient soldiers laid down their weapons, priestesses gave them a wild olive branch and they in turn handed it over to the distinguished athletes of the armed forces as a bridge from ancient to modern, and immediately after that they started the first route of Hercules from Agrippita Hori to Elida. New Routes Agrippa Hori Ilida, the route of Hercules, the run was led by the long-distance runner and world-famous athlete Yanis Kouros, and the marathon runner and holder of the national record of the marathon road and the 10,000 meters director of the Supreme Sports Council of Hellenic Armed Forces Captain Spiros Andriopoulos. The two athletes of the Supreme Sports Council of Hellenic Armed Forces were accompanied by other members and excellent and distinguished athletes who started from Agrippita Hori on Saturday morning to finish at ancient Elida. The Route of Iphitos It is dedicated to the King of Elis Iphitos, one of the pioneers of the truce. Two groups of children from ages 10 to 11 and 12 to 14 participate in the race. The young runners start from the square of Elis and finish at the theater of ancient Elis, in a race of two kilometers. The Route of Cleisthenes This is a five kilometers race that starts from ancient Pisa and ends in ancient Olympia. The route is dedicated to the king of Pisa Cleisthenes, who according to tradition was one of the three kings, along with Euthatos and Lycurgos who signed the truce. For the first time the route of Cleisthenes took place on September 19, 2021. Summit, Art Exhibition an annual summit dedicated to Olympism, sports, and truce, is organized at the War Museum of Athens, in honor of the World Sport Day for Development and Peace, where the actions and events that were held or are scheduled for Route of Truce are being presented. In the foyer of the museum, an art exhibition featuring works by well-known Greek artists dedicated to sport and peace is displayed. In 2018, the event was dedicated to the sport of wrestling and the Olympic winners of Greco-Roman and freestyle wrestling were honored with special awards. The 2019 event was dedicated to long-distance runners. In 2020 at the Olympic values of fair play and sportsmanship, and in 2021 to fencing, archery and shooting. Supportive Events On May 5, 2017, for the first time, a symbolic route of truce took place from Nika, symbol of free spirit and speech, to the Panathenaic Stadium, symbol of the modern Olympic Games. The event was dedicated to the need for truce and peace in the world, and athletes, artists, members of the local government, politicians, ambassadors, and group of refugees participated. On September 16, 2020, in the context of the events for the Route of Olympic Truce 2020, this symbolic run was held again with limited participations due to COVID-19 restrictions. Roots 
stops and tributes. As we already mentioned, sections of the routes will be dedicated to sports categories and Olympic values, and in each section the stops along the route will bear the names of personalities who excelled in each category and whose actions highlighted the Olympic values. Some stops have already been created through the programs and sponsorships, and more will follow in the near future. At the same time, pathworks and road signs installation on the alternative route from ancient Pisa to ancient Olympia are being planned. In the future, we are also planning to create a number of small museums in the villages of the route, in which the sections of sports the athletes and the values of the respective tribute will be presented. So let the truce become the model for friendship, mutual understanding, tolerance, the acceptance of diversity and the acceptance of the supreme value of peace. And let us all become messengers of this message of peace. Thank you. This video sums up pretty much most of the things we achieved as Federation of Olympia from 2014 for the root of truth and the promotion of peace and the Olympic values. We invested thousands of working hours voluntarily and uh, our own resources uh, when needed. Uh, we believe in mankind's natural kindness and that with persistence and goodwill, together we can achieve peace. The best to tool to do that is, of course, sports. It's tested and proven. Of course, everything wouldn't be the same without the contribution of Supreme Sports Council of Hellenic Armed Forces, SISM, and the carriers of Olympic family. We would like to thank Mr. Spiros Andriopoulos especially, who saw the potential from the beginning and stood with us from our very first steps. And together, we made the root of truth and the values that accompany it great and known again. One of the unique things of the root of truth is the people. As we already mentioned, there is no timing, and timing no or record at the run. Everyone runs for the same cause, to spread the message of truth and peace. Before the start of the Olympic Games, special envoys traveled to all Greek colonies all over the known world. Uh, to proclaim the beginning of the truce, so everyone could travel safely. The Greek word for the people of, that carried that message to the world was Kyrkes. So we can say that the runners of the route are modern Kyrkes of the message of truce and uh, the need for peace, because leaving the event, they go to their homes and carry this important message with them. And we believe that after this experience, they are not the same. We can't achieve peace without truth. And to do that, we have to start from small goals, from our family, from our neighborhood, and then expand. 50 kilometers in semi-hill terrain is not easy, as the truth is not also easy. And uh, this journey, the, at this journey, the runner forgets the time, forgets to look at his watch to, he, to see his new record, forgets the competitive self that he might sometimes show in other events and raises his head. He looks at nature, he looks at the person next to him, feels, he smiles at the philoxenia of the local people. The word philoxenia comes from the words philo, agapo, which means love, and xenos, which means foreigner. And in ancient Greece was moral obligation and was protected by Zeus. And the meaning of the word was, uh, is for the host to welcome the foreigner and treat him as best as he can, to give him food, presents, and even a bed to sleep, without caring about his uh, social, economic, or political status, and treat him as equal. Furthermore, to as to what the name Root of Truth stands for in Greek, the agreement to suspend hostilities in order to host the Olympic Games became known as ekechiria. It is also a compound word from the verb echo, katecho, which means I hold, and the noun hira, that means hand. 
So the meaning is, I keep my hands off the weapons, or in free translation, I hold peace in my hands. Our main goal with the Root of Truth is not just to make the Root known to the public, but to use it as a tool to bridge the ancient with the modern, the old with the new, and to remind everyone why the Olympic Games were held and highlight again the ideals of respect and the sacred right to peace. Thank you very much for your time, for the opportunity to be here, and uh, for your co contribution to sports and peace. Enjoy the route of clear tennis. We invite Captain Spiridon Andriopoulos to present a special gift and a certificate to Mr. Kodoyanis as the head of projects, events, and program sector of the Federation of Olympia for his contribution to the symposium.